Now, counties are reacting to the state's new indoor mask mandate. Mm -hmm. Masks required in all indoor public mm -hmm. places unless the businesses implement a vaccine requirement. Now, this officially went into effect yesterday, but Governor Hochul says she's leaving the ultimate decision up to the counties themselves if they desire to enforce it. News 10 ABC's Jen Selig joins us live at the Capitol right now. She has more on what some local counties have to say about this. Not everybody in agreement with this, as you know, Jen. That's right, Ryan Christina. Several counties across the state are choosing not to enforce this statewide indoor mask mandate, including some here in the Capitol District. Local leaders say they'd rather focus on vaccinations and boosters. Well, every county is different, and I've spoken to many of them. Some county executives have asked us to do this. Saratoga, Rensselaer, and Montgomery County leaders all say they're not going to enforce this mandate. Saratoga County officials say local health departments aren't policing agencies and says these departments are made up of health care professionals and they should be educating the community on public health. I warned about this for months, and now we are where we are. I'm taking decisive action to get us through this as soon as possible. In a COVID briefing, Montgomery County's public health director says she will not enforce the mask mandate and called it senseless. I can't support this mask mandate. I cannot dedicate any more resources to enforcing mask mandates that have come down from the governor's office. And we'll be there to provide the resources as they request them. Rensselaer County says they want to focus on testing and vaccinations instead of a mask mandate. County Executive Steve McLaughlin sending a lengthy statement about this mandate, saying in part, quote, the state should avoid the heavy handed tactics of the previous administration and instead try to work together cooperatively, help residents stay healthy and help businesses finish strong in what has been a tough year. Meanwhile, other local municipalities like the city of Troy is adopting this statewide mandate. Mayor Patrick Madden saying that all city employees and visitors when they come to city owned buildings, they must be wearing a mask regardless of vaccination status. For more information about this statewide mandate, head over to our website at news10.com. Live in Albany this morning, Jen Sealing, News 10 ABC.